we have to stop meeting like this. And by this I mean you watching one of my videos and then me not uploading another one for months. Because <laughs> I'm bad at YouTube. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Some of you are new here, so I'd like to formally introduce myself once again. My name is Rebecca Felgate. I am British. I'm living in Toronto and I'm in lockdown number two right now. Oh. So yeah, I keep thinking I'm going to walk away from YouTube and then videos will pop off and I'm like, oh, I should really come back and, and do that. I'll explain. I want to give you a whole update of what has happened over the past year and where I'm at moving into 2021. So I guess stick with me if you're interested. So a video that I made in the summer has gone weirdly viral several months later about my move to Canada. Um, a lot of people are very interested in the fact that I left England and moved to Canada and I'm really glad. So I live in Toronto, right now I'm talking to you from my glorious one bed apartment in the west side of the city. Um, I live alone, which is something I guess we'll get into in terms of the update side of things and I know that there are varying states of lockdown across the world right now some of you aren't even in lockdown and that's just like really great for you good if you're watching in Australia I'm really jealous um, but I'm still allowed to see friends for walks and um, I'm also allowed to see another friend inside the house as like I don't know an emotional support human so it's not the worst I'm spending more time with myself than I ever have but I am still seeing other humans a bit within the rules so we haven't totally lost our mind yet although I am now referring to myself as a plural which doesn't seem like a good sign <laughs> Okay, so for those of you that do already know me, let's address a few elephants in the room regarding last year and where I'm at now. Um, some of you will know me from a channel, a big YouTube channel that I left over a year ago now. I still constantly get messages asking me if I'm going to go back. The channel themselves actually asked me to come back recently, which is confusing because we spent a long time in a legal battle last year. And yeah, the answer to everyone asking is, no, um, it's a chapter that's closed. I will not be returning anytime. Truly, I have a fractured relationship with YouTube because the era where I was doing it full time, <laughs> I don't mean to sound dramatic, but I kind of consider to be one of the worst in my life. So yeah, no to that. The reason that I can't personally do YouTube as a career, having left the channel, I think a lot of people expect me to start my own regular thing, but I just can't be beholden to a niche. I think I'm a great storyteller and I, I love adventures and storytelling and, and things like that, but to be a successful YouTuber means, you know, you've really got to pump out that content and it really needs to be down one very specific path and I just can't do that. I'm not like that as a human. I'm quite curious about a lot of things. If lockdown's taught me anything, I'm a million different people from one day to the next, which are lyrics to a popular 90s song, but also applicable here. But that said, I don't want to ignore the fact that 126,000 people have subscribed to my YouTube channel and I would be an idiot to not use this as a platform to tell you about other things that I'm doing in my life where having an audience would be super helpful. So that's kind of what I wanna tell you about now. Although I need to address the other big elephant in the room, which is that I'm no longer in a relationship. I know a lot of you knew about my relationship um, before because we were on the channel together and then we made some videos on this channel. And I guess out of respect, for him and also not wanting to delve too much into that. I'll keep it brief, but just wasn't meant to be. Hopefully we'll stay friends. When I'm with someone who I like again one day, it's <laughs> hoping. <laughs> um, like what level of exposure to this do they get? Because it's really fucking awkward to sit here later to be like, hey, that's no longer happening. When really outside of what I do for a living. I just consider myself to be a totally normal person. So anyway, so yeah, last year was a bit of a hard year. It was ultimately in a relationship that wasn't going to work out, which made the lockdown period that we did live through in the house together a bit awkward, um, but we still had fun and you know, it's fine. Since November, I've been living on my own and 
loving it, to be honest, having the space to myself. I've been doing a lot of home decoration, <laughs> which I will share with you. But yeah, 2020 was a weird year. And like I said, there was a legal battle with my former um, job, which really, really, really made things quite hard for me. That said, I managed to keep my business going. After I quit the YouTube channel, I transitioned into creating food and cocktail and lifestyle content on Instagram, which was going really well. And then the pandemic struck and <laughs> then that was kind of torpedoed, but I really managed to sort of make a lot of videos from my home bar and twist the content to be more indoors based. And so it started to pick up again and I'm very, very thankful. And I work with a few other clients as well. So business-wise things are, are going pretty well for me. In fact, on my hand, <laughs> I've written day plan because that's how, I, <laughs> that's how I do my things now. I need to stick to the day plan and that's how I can run a business, work for other people and make a YouTube video. But the biggest news from last year, while everything was going on, is that I managed to write a book. Now, I only just finished it at the end of last year and then I spent the first month of this year editing it and it obviously still I'm sure needs a whole load of work but I'm at the space now where I'm trying to find a publisher for it or a book agent who can help me find a publisher. It is a memoir about moving from England to Toronto, getting a job on a YouTube channel and being exposed to social media as a, a wider career option and what that sort of did to me. So it's part memoir, part critical analysis of the social media landscape. I'm really proud of it. I'm really excited to one day unleash it and I can't wait for you to read it. And I think that would be a major yes point to uploading more YouTube videos so I can tell you a little bit more about that process. The first thing people ask me when I tell them that I've written a book is when's it going to be published and like I don't know I haven't got a publisher yet I'm looking for one I think it's a whole process I'm sure it needs work I haven't ever done this before but I do know that I'm dedicated to making it happen so I really hope that it will be sooner rather than later, but truthfully, I don't know. But what I do know is that I write a weekly newsletter, which is quite in the style of the book. It's in sort of musings about social media, about my life, about love and friendship and things like that, that I send out every Sunday morning. So if you wanted to get to know me as a writer or a memoirist, then please do sign up to my newsletter. I would absolutely love to have you on board, only if you're interested in that kind of thing though. I include a cocktail every week too. It's for adults, so if you're like, you know, over the age of 21, then please do sign up. Um, I'm 32, so like, I, it's mostly musings from somebody my age-ish, but I'm young at heart. <laughs> God, why do you watch me? I'm, I'm very here and there. Yeah, so that's the main energy that I'm moving forward with into 2021, just keeping my business running. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so if you're into drinking, because it's very much like cocktail content. I love making Instagram reels, because like I said, I do love telling stories on the internet. I do want to make more YouTube videos if they're conversational like this, and if it's okay that I upload them sporadically, because honestly, I'm never gonna be the person that sits there thinking of a YouTube video idea to upload every Saturday. It sort of takes the joy out of it for me. I much prefer to sit down and just have a chat. I just wanna tell you a little bit more about Toronto because I know that a lot of you watched my Canada video that went, <laughs> that went viral. How do things go viral months later? I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, sorry, actually the winter has not been super harsh this year. It's been really sunny this week, which has greatly improved my mood. Um, I feel like it's like that in Canada or in East Canada anyway, um, in the winter, like it will be cold, but the skies will often be blue and I'm very appreciative for that. I've been on quite a lot of wintry walks that have been really, 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 really nice. I still try and get my 10,000 steps a day. That's something I've been doing for years. Keeps it tight, doesn't it? And keeps me sane. Ooh. I'm also just really buying a lot of things off the internet to spruce up my home, e.g. this screen here. Isn't it nice? So yeah, last year was a whole thing. This year I'm feeling a lot better. I hope once lockdown is over, I can show you more of living in Toronto because it is something that I love so much. 
it has really sucked that I haven't been able to go back to England and see my family in the past year. It's weird to be like marooned over the other side of the ocean, but I'm making it work and I still have friends in the city, even if we can only like Zoom or have a walk in the park together. But I don't know, for some reason, I feel very, very, very positive about this year and still very positive about Canada. So I'm glad that you've joined me in this. I guess I would call this a fresh start actually. So maybe this, yeah, this is a good video to join me in. This is the fresh start video. So yeah, I'm putting 2020 behind me and moving forward. I'm very excited for what the future has in store and I'm really glad that you watched this video. Please leave me a comment if you want me to answer any questions that you might have because I don't know what you might wanna know, but if you tell me then I, then I will know. <laughs> Um, also, let me know what kind of videos you want to see here. Like, I liked making the travel kind of stuff, but like right now there's nowhere to go. So, but please do for me, um, leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, I don't know what I can promise you. More of this, so if you're into this, then great. And if you would like to sign up to my newsletter, then that would thrill me. Thank you for everyone who's stuck with me over the past five years. Oh, it means a lot to me. And if you feel like you really need to see me every day, I'm on Instagram all the time. Bon chance, good luck, lots of love. Bye.